Hello, uh, my name is Christian. This is Henning, Christopher, Jonas, uh, <laughs> and then we have Håkon. Uh, we're here in the Hague, and we've just been we've just been jamming for about forty-eight hours ish, and we've actually completed a demo. And this is pretty much showing it. Uh, with uh, we have we have spent amazingly an amazing amount of time just sitting there coding and just uh, having it on faith that our coding actually works. <laughs> so if we before we actually got anything on screen, we were around uh, 18 to 24 hours in. And so we had pretty much 24 hours to start bug fixing everything and implementing new things after we noticed that we probably missed something, which we did. Uh, the game is still slightly buggy. Um, some hitboxes for uh, shooting and hitting uh, kind of doesn't work quite well. Uh, you die as well. <laughs> there's uh, there's some th also something wrong with the random generation, as far as we've seen. Uh, so you might see a lot of the same textures pop up for for the different plants, uh, but. We have random generation of planets, so they uh, they pop up in uh, different locations. With uh, we have seven different resources, and they are also randomly generated at, at least a number of them for each planet, and they in turn uh, tell us if there's a chance of well life or enemies. Uh, so that that also depends. That also tells us how much. Uh, how many enemies are actually spawned? Uh, we do have a, a win condition, which was added quite late. Uh, it's basically you after around uh, after you visit around ten uh, five screens, I think it is. Uh, you get to a planet, which is as two point oh. There's a random chance of that happening as well. Mm -hmm. Everything is just random. It's a perfect system. Uh, the game itself is based around mining uh, of of uh, different planets. So you get to, you go down, gather resources uh, while defending yourself, and then you actually you are actually after a new place to live for humanity. Mm, what else? Crazy question. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, our implementation of the uh, Drake's equation is just uh, we are using different uh, different variables of the world to tell us whether or not there's life there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's we we haven't focused specifically on one asset of it. It's just uh, we, we just under, added a equation to s simulate at least <laughs> some of it to generate us life. So what are the resources? Can you tell a little bit more about the resources? Yeah, there's, uh, you have gold, which isn't used for anything, silver, uh, it's minerals. Used for if you die on the planet, to oh, yeah, use you... gold, and if you run out of gold, then you uh, lose the game. Oh, yeah, okay. So minerals, silver and gold is used for creating a car. Yeah. And then you have uh, water. Which is essential for anyone. You lose that as well while you're traveling or just idling uh, in space. Like you can see now, you you're losing both water, uh, oxygen, and food. Mm -hmm. uh, fuel gets drained when you move to another screen. Uh, so you need to really watch out that you don't run out of any of these resources or you lose the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you die on a planet, you also lose some resources. I think it's 20 of each one. 20 of each uh, food, water, and oxygen, and 50 of the minerals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you also lose fuel. Once you yeah. land on the planet, you can't leave until you finish. You have to yeah. mine it completely yeah. or die mm -hmm. to leave. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were actually thinking of, you know, Putting an escape in, but that would mess up with some stuff like revisiting and mm -hmm. so on. Because it, when you visit a planet, you can't go back there because it's already exhausted. You've killed all the enemies or mm -hmm. whatever. 
Uh, yeah. Um, you have a tooltip to with mouse over the planet, so you can get basic info on the planet and before going. Yeah, down. so yeah. you can calculate the calculate the risk for um, dying and what resources you can find and stuff. And if you have already been to planets, you the scanner will just say that you have already been there, mm -hmm. so you can't revisit it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the uh, some of the bigger challenges we had was um, getting the enemies to actually shoot right. Uh, we had some problems with the mathematics, and uh, we had some problems with getting the actual angle of attack towards well between the two vectors really. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also had some problems with the random generation, which we just <laughs> still have, and uh, now you're going to die. Well, we haven't really spent too much time on sprites, so many, a lot of this looks kind of just Play put together. Playing. Yeah, uh, we probably added most of the stuff just in the last three hours. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have much animation yet because time constraints again. And sounds, we actually do have them. They, um, they work kind of. And there's also a slight bug when you visit a plant and there's no life. And you just kind of, it, it, the screen kind of just blinks and you get all the resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else? So how the player knows when they go out of the universe? So you never leave the universe. You just yeah, but sometimes when you go below, you kind of died. That's because the resources you run out oh, yeah, of fuel. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Okay. when you leave the screen, you lose fuel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It it's, it it kind of just pops up. It doesn't really display anything mm. before you do anything. It's you see, yeah. you lost forty percent fuel when you left the screen. Yeah. You lose forty percent, and you have a wooden screen, which is kind of harder to get. <laughs> when you Go say if you would go to another universe, like if you would go down and get another screen. If you go back Don't up know. again, do you go back to the no. same screen or is it a new one? No, it's a new one. We haven't. Okay, we, yeah. we, so we, it's we've kind just of warping. Yeah, we're not really. We haven't really uh, put anything in to save them. We were thinking of it, but uh, that would take a lot of time. We don't actually need to begin to say. We just. Jumped over. Well, it's pro it's the That's way it's why programmed. You so much, much fuel because you travel so far. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's light speed into. Yeah. yeah. That's one way to describe it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. The numbers aren't really play tests a lot. <laughs> so it's hard to get to the windscreen. Yeah, it is. Is very chance. Since the resources are random, there's a chance I'm never gonna get enough fuel. Yeah, that is well. Because mm -hmm. you could run into plans with like, yeah. if you're really yeah. unlucky, you could have everything at zero and mm -hmm. not get anything. But like, like this planet, almost nothing on everything. Yeah. And then no, no planet in that system would have a lot of resources. Yeah. Well, I think some of them are actually guaranteed to have extra resources as well. But yeah, that's pretty much our presentation, I think, unless there are questions. Unless we can win the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't very likely. No. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Okay, thank you.